Oh, hey guys, it's Monica. I want to share with you a little bit of a mini Walmart haul and what happened to me? I'm going to share what happened to me as well. So stay tuned. So hey guys, I want to share with you a hair accessory that I received. I saw this on the Octoly Network and I thought, this is really cute. Now, I know some of you, you don't like the wigs, you don't like the different hair accessories, and some of you love it. So I'm, I'm all for switching up my look if I can, especially, you know, if I'm not working and I'm going out somewhere and I might want to be glam. Like right now, I'm sort of like nothing. I've got my hair back in a, a and here you want to see, I'm going to turn around so you can see my pony. So you can see just kind of a very casual low ponytail i'm home today i've been doing little little things here and there nothing elaborate but i received this in the mail and this was actually via the octoline network i think i said that from the company hairdo and this is the 23 in color splash coachella purple ponytail coachella purple ponytail color splash so i saw it and i said you know what i know it's really hard to match up your hair but i have worn a a fake ponytail before a hair piece with a ponytail i i wore a shorter one i've worn many many hair buns you know like accessories i put little buns on on my hair when i pull my hair up to give myself some curl and all that stuff so i've worn a lot of different hair accessories and I really think that wigs and toppers and hair pieces and accessories they're not just you know for women who have hair loss issues they've become sort of a fashion accessory for some and most of your Hollywood actresses your newscasters the people you see on TV many of them are wearing wigs because their everyday real hair no way do they have the volume and no way can it hold the style that they have. I mean, it's amazing how mainstream wigs have come. So yeah, why not explore the options if you can? So I saw the pony and I had worn a pony and I know that it can be a really cute fashion accessory, especially when you have a hat on and things like that and you just want to have a ponytail sticking out. And that's what I kind of really thought. Again, this was from the Octoly Network in exchange for my review, how I feel about this. So I have high hopes for this. It doesn't feel very heavy. It actually, the color came out pretty close to my own color. There is a difference. So I could darken this. I could spray it with a dry shampoo that has more of a brown tone if I want, but I'm not going to do that. I've done that to some of my wicks. So what this looks like, let me show you. This is the Coachella Purple Edge Pony. You see all that? That's not cute. I think this is a pretty good color match for my hair. But as you can see, there's a little bit of a Velcro on the edge here, and there's a clip. This is like just a little comb, so it would comb into the top of your ponytail. And then once you have it secured and wrapped around your ponytail, then this piece can wrap around to cover it. Or you can wrap that piece around it and you can do, you can have something else covering your ponytail. But I really think this is adorable. <laughs> I do. I think this is adorable. So I'm going to go put this on my pony. And then I'm going to come back and let you see what it looks like. I love it so far. Let's see if I can put it in my hair. I had to put a, a comb up under the pony to, to keep it up, to secure it. I need to get a better, I think, band elastic to go around. But I actually, it's pretty secure. I, I don't know what it looks like to you guys, but I actually think it's kind of fun. I have some Molly and Fab and Glam going on. <laughs> I do. I think it's kind of fun. <laughs> so again, this is the 23 inch and this is the deep purple pony wrap from Hairdo. I believe these are going to be available, if not already, probably in, you know, Alta or Sally's or stores like that, wherever you can buy little, little hair pieces. And you can obviously follow the link I'm going to put below and, and um, get more information. I think it's adorable. There's a couple of different ways you can wear it, a couple of different ways that you can put it on. I absolutely think it is adorable. 
I'm gonna go check this out. You see how I look. I think if I lowered it, the, the ponytail a little bit down further and then put the hat on and pulled it through, I think it would look really cute. What do you guys think? <laughs> I think it's cute. So now I stuck it on the top of my hair. So what I did is I, I brought my ponytail up to the top and then I put the clip in and then I wrapped it around. I have some bobby pins because I don't have a a big enough elastic to you know for this to grip into you know what I mean so um, I'm gonna get a big enough elastic but let me just let me just turn around and kind of show you I've been having so much fun with this I really have so you ready see the purple and you know what guys I really think that, I'll do this side. I really think this is awesome. I mean, really awesome. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Another thing that I'm loving that I want to share with you really quickly is I had requested this from the Oxley Network from Grand Lips. I have tried Grand Lash. Um, I've tried a few other other products and I really was very very happy. So I had requested this. This is the most loved nude plumpers and it's it said online that it was a limited edition. I'm not really too sure but it's instantly hydrating lip plumping trio. Now I got the the most loved nudes because I really really like them. I have like uh, spicy mauve I have Spicy Mauve, Original Clear, and Sun Baked Sedona. I've actually been, and this is kind of really cool. I think Mary Ellen after 60 had reviewed these recently. So when you pop this off, it's like you, you have to pop it off. And it's a really nice application process. And you have to prime it like a little pump. You have to prime it until it starts to come up. And then once it starts to come up, you don't have to prime it like uh, 20 times. But initially, you do have to prime it a lot. And when you go to use it, now I can see I have a little bead here. I don't have... I don't have any kind of mirror but what's on my viewfinder. A little snap tight. A little bit of a tingliness. What I like about this is you can wear it with any lip liner you want or with any lipstick you want and it feels really really good. When it says instantly hydrating they absolutely mean it. It plays really nice with any other lipstick that you might want to put on. Like I've put this clear on in the morning. I put the clear on before I go to bed at night and when you put it on I do believe after a while there is a slight plumping of your lips. I don't think it's anything that's going to stay that way. I think it's something that will continue as you use the product to be that way. So it's just like when you use an eyelash serum, you stop using it and you have fallout after a while and your eyelashes would return back to normal. So this is a sweet, sweet lip plumper that you can actually see a difference when you put it on and you can feel a difference and what I love about it is I love these nudes now if they're limited edition you know like it they had said like I had read I was like oh that's really a bummer at first I tried it and I said okay you know limited edition but it 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 grew on me the longer I use this the more I liked it so I am really liking this a lot I'm going to check it out this is something I would reorder I don't think it's that terribly expensive if you spend 10 to 15 dollars on a lip gloss I don't think this is bad at all this again was sent to me via the Octoly Network from Grand Lips and I will have to be 100% honest with you I actually like this a lot so this week with my Octoly things, actually, this is this actually has been, I've had this for almost three weeks now. With Octoly, you have to do your review within 28 days. So I'm like right under the cusp of getting this published. But, um, but then I got my hair in and I am also getting another, another lip product from Grand Lips, but it's not in yet. So I'm really liking this. What do you think? I think this hair is cute. So wow, what a win for me. So I, I, 
I am a Walmart shopper, but I'm a Walmart shopper on a few of like say dry goods and a in cosmetics. So I don't usually shop in Walmart for clothes unless I'm buying oversized t-shirts, which I usually buy in the men's department. And if I can't get a V-neck oversized t-shirt, I'll buy the white round necks and I'll just cut them into a V because that's what I lounge around in all summer. But I always visit Walmart. Yeah, I always visit, visit Walmart and I always go down the cosmetics. So I was talking to a friend of mine, a close friend of mine, and it's Sheila Life with Lily, and she was talking about nude eyeshadow palettes, and she was talking about the one that she really likes. And she said, pretty well, this is the drugstore, and this is one of her favorite palettes. She said, I don't know that they still have it. It's hard to find. But she told me it was from Maybelline, and it was the nudes. So I was in Walmart, and I found it. So the reason I'm sharing my little Walmart haul with you is that if you want to call this a haul. Do you call this a haul? I don't think so, but maybe. Um, it's because some of you have said, well, you know, what have you been doing different on your eyes? And so a lot of you that watch my Insta stories, you see what I look like when I go to work, which is not sometimes what I look like when I'm filming a video like this, you know? And sometimes when you're filming a video, you're supposed to put more makeup on than normal, um, you know, more blush. Right now, I just have an everyday look on except for my hair, but, Anyways, long story short, I went into Walmart and I found the nudes palette that she was talking about. It does have, it has mattes, but it also has some, I don't know if you call them shimmers or whatever, but they're all the nude shades. So I bought it. I figured, why not? I've used it a couple of times. I really like it. While I was there, I saw two other palettes. Now, one is very, very close, except this is all mattes, and this is also Maybelline. This is the City Mini, and it's called Brooklyn Nudes. So it is nudes, just like the Nudes palette, but these are pretty well all mattes. They're pretty well all mattes. They are somewhat of a creamier consistency than some other palettes. I don't like the palettes that when you dip the brush into it, everything goes flying. There is some of that going on, especially in the lighter shades, but not bad, not bad at all. So I've been able to use this a lot. In fact, today, this is all I have on. I have everything on except for this lighter clay color or whatever. I have that on. And it's great for an everyday look. I like the size of it because it travels. But the one that I'm really super excited about, and this was the one when I saw it, I said, oh my gosh, I said, this is for me. It's actually number 520, Skyscape Dusk. And so for those of you that have, on Instagram have been asking me about this, check this out. This is awesome. This is my purples. So I've got my purples. I've got, you know, an all over shade, lighter purples, darker purples. This is my purples. But you know what is super exciting about this? Let me show it you in comparison to my beloved my amethyst these are, is right here in the middle these are my amethyst take a look at how close these colors are take a look and the consistency of this little mini palette is awesome the lighter shades have more of a dust buildup but the darker shades very very creamy i i actually love this little palette to the degree that i think if I see it again, I would buy a backup because I just really like it. I like these shades. And there's something about, in my mind, saving my good stuff, the palettes that I have here, my Huda Beauty, for special occasions. And then I'm thinking, you're crazy. Why do, why, why do you, you don't have to save it. You know, what happens to people that save? They never get to wear it or whatever, you know. But somehow, and then I, I just figured, you know, yeah, I love that Amethyst palette. I want to get the other Vice the Art. I can't remember what it's called, but there's another one out that I want to get. But in the interim, these little palettes, the City Mini palettes, and especially this one, <laughs> I absolutely love it. And then the bigger one, the Nudes, that Sheila loves. They're absolutely, you can't beat it for the price. Other things that I tried this time is also Maybelline. And this is the... These are the color scents. It's kind of really funny. In my Walmart, these have, well, these hang with a security tip. 
makes me wonder, do people actually maybe steal these? Could be, I don't know, or try to. But these are the Color Sensational, and these are Shaping Lip Liners, which I really like. I have Magnetic Mauve, I have Totally Toffee, I have Beige Babe. <laughs> So I got these three. Again, these are all Walmart. And I really like the consistency. This is a really light one. I, li I, I prefer the creamier lip liners than the pencil lip liners. And this you can retract. So I really like them. They very much remind me of my favorite Avon lip liners. Absolutely. So I got these. This is my Walmart haul. The other thing I get in Walmart is my Equate. I use the Minoxidil. I've used it for years. So I bought this one. This is the 5%. This is the foam. I'm not a fan of the foam, but I think once you really get the hang of the foam, it's easy to use. But in general, the foam has always been like, ugh, you know. However, I feel that the foam, when I put it on my spots, you know, not my spots, but where I'm thinning, you know, around my you know, crown and here, when I put that on, I can actually, with the foam, apply it to and have it stay. It doesn't run down my face and all that. So I'm really thinking this might be, you know, the foam might be the way to go. I really, I really think so. So I'm kind of excited about trying this one because this is the first time I've seen one that was based on doing it once a day as opposed to twice a day. So I'm thinking, you know what, if I do this at night, and before I go to bed, and then I wake up in the morning, you know, I don't have to apply it. And if I have second day or third day hair, depending on what's going on, it feels pretty darn good. So this has been a great product week for me. You know, I mean, I'm loving the Grand Lips a lot. And th this is a really, I mean, it's really cool. I really like it. And I'll link Mary Ellen after 60s channel. I don't know if I can find the video, but she recently did a review on it and she really liked it. And then I'm loving these palettes. So I have to say thank you to Sheila, Life with Lily, for turning me on to the, this one, which then turned me on to these little guys. And I don't know if the minis are new, but the City Mini Palette, the one with the sunset colors. Oh my gosh, I really, really like that a lot. So that's kind of like my little funky update. Not much going on, but I thought I'd share it with you like this. I'm still amazed at this little wiglet. I, not wiglet. Well, I mean, would you call it that? It's a pony. It's a wraparound pony. So I'm still amazed at how nice this is. And oh, also, I've had a couple of people ask me about, you know, what am I doing different? Uh, is it, do I feel that I'm using different eyeshadows, my eyes are completely different, or is it the brush? And I said, you know what, it has to be the Sigma brushes because I never realized what a difference a brush could make. But this is the Sigma E45, and this is the one that I use every single day. And it really, really allows me to have a lot of control when I apply my eyeshadow. And I am not an eyeshadow pro at all, I'm not. However, and if you would have asked me a year ago, would a brush make a difference? I think I have a video where I said I didn't think a brush would make a difference. A brush makes a difference, at least someone like me. So thank you all guys so much for watching. I know I've talked a lot about, you know, stuff that was sent to me again, but you know, this is adorable. And if you guys want to, you know, shake up your look for the summer and you want to put a hat on. Of course, I'm not going to put my hat on now because I have it on top. But a little bit. It won't sit down because it's too, you know, the ponies up here. I'd have to pull the pony out. And it actually looks really cute that way. <laughs> it does. It looks really cute that way. So... So thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you all have a great day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.